Bell. What is bail? What are bells burning? How do I pay bail? How do I get out of jail? All right, let's talk about it. So bail is a number set by a judge for you to get out of jail as a promise for you to reappear in court. It's attaching a money amount to say, okay, that's going to incentivize you to show up to court and not miss your court dates if you have to pay money. It's been around a long time, longer than any of us have been around. It's an old system, right? Um, but basically, it's a promise to reappear based off a certain amount that you pay. Uh, example, let's say the judge sets your bail amount at $10,000. There's two ways you can pay it. You can pay the full amount, pay it to the court as your bail. And once your case is disposed of, whether you go plead guilty or whether your case gets dismissed, whether you go to trial and get found guilty or not guilty, once the case is done, you get that money back. You get that money back. Okay. The other option, which is the most common option, is you go to a bail bondman and you pay 10% to the bail bondman. And the reason I say 10% because the average bail bondman, they take 10% of the bail as a way of paying. So let me, excuse me, let me explain. Again, your bond's at $10,000. You can't afford to pay the full 10. So you go to a bail bondman. The bail bondman is going to say, okay, give me 10% down, 10%. Of ten thousand dollars is a thousand dollars, and so you pay the bail bondman a thousand dollars. Now here's the catch with that though, because you're not paying a full amount because you're enlisting a bailsman, a bail bondman, um, you don't get that thousand dollars back. You don't get that thousand dollars back. It's their money that they pocket, and they put up a surety to the court that said, "Hey, we'll post this person's bail, and go from there." So imagine if your bail was a hundred thousand dollars. You're going to pay the bills by them in $10,000. If it was $200,000, you pay the bills by them in $20,000. Stuff like that. And again, 10% is the average number. Sometimes they take less than that. Sometimes they take less. Just call and ask. Sometimes they work out payment plans with you and different things like that. So that's what bail is. You got two options. Now, you'll hear more and more and more and more about now PR bonds, personal recognizance bonds. That's when you really don't have to pay anything. You just promise to reappear and the judge gives you a PR bond that says, okay, you don't have to pay nothing. I'm going to set an amount, but you don't have to pay that. I'm going to set this amount at $100, $150, but you don't have to pay it. You just have to appear on your own recognizance. Now, there's starting to be bail reform across the country. And Texas is one of the main places where, at least in Houston, Harris County area, you're starting to see bail reform due to some lawsuits that have happened. So you're starting to see a lot more people getting PR bonds where they don't have to pay anything. But sometimes just because of the type of crime it is, somebody's accused of or their criminal history, they're not going to get a PR bond. A person is going to have to get a real bail amount and they're going to have to uh, decide they're going to afford to pay it in full or go to a bail bondman. So that's basically what bail is.